album entitled Jailbreak was a very successful film. Was the tough guy image of the album something that came during the years that you grew up, getting in fights and things of that nature? I wouldn't say it was as tough as I'm making out, but, I mean, it was, you know, by no means were we polite little children. Uh, we were, like, my parents didn't know what we were getting up to once we'd go out the door, you know, and, and we used to get into a lot of hassles. I, I found that a lot of the rock bands at the time we were doing jailbreak were the, sort of setting themselves up to be idolised and a lot of the lyric f formats were like, you know, uh, we wandered through clouds like they were gods, you know what I mean? People seem to be always going through space, you know, and being very, uh, we're above it all, you know, adore us because we're on a stage and we have like a lot of lights and special effects that make us look good, you know? And it used to be all that type of thing. And I found it was it really wasn't relating at all to the, the anger, especially in Europe, that was going on with the youth, because the, uh, the recession really hit, you know. I mean, America's a rich country. It can cover itself, you know. But the re recession really hit hard in Europe, and, and a lot of the kids were broke, you know. And they were getting angry because for the first time you had kids that were educated and unemployed, you know. I mean, most of the time they were dumb and they weren't educated and, and they were unemployed, you know what I mean? But this time they were actually educated and they, they've been t sold this dream that if you learn and work hard, you'll have a job. I mean, I don't know what they, they, they were worried about, but I suppose it meant that there was no money. And uh, so I just, the lyrics I was writing there for, I wanted to relate more to that than uh, most hard rock bands at the time were just writing what I considered to be trivial lyrics. I mean, there's very few people in rock music that write good lyrics. I mean, you you listen to, say, the lyrics of a band like Foreigner, uh, or Boston, or, or Styx, or REO, or whatever I mean. And I mean, they, they just seem, uh, they relate more to American audiences, but they, <laughs> They're not really in-depth sort of lyrics, you know what I mean? But also, like I'm trying to say, there is an emphasis on the lyrics that there isn't. What? That these other bands just don't seem to. Now, maybe that's... You know, I mentioned a few names there, and I could be wrong, but I, I actually think I'm right, you know? I mean, I've seen REO, and I see they seem to be more into saying, like, uh, hey, we were running down the highway, and we went this way, and we went... And everybody goes, yeah, wow, that's it, you know? But you did try that stuff in, in England, for example. But people go, what's he talking about driving? You know, I mean, who has a car? I mean, kids don't have cars. And, and you know, I mean, a car is a statue symbol in, 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 in Europe. You know? <laughs>